Hey, it's Johnny, MBTI versus Kiersey. Which one is better? Stay tuned. All right, so real quick, I wanna say thank you to the new subscribers, return subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time, we talk about all 16 personalities or all four temperaments, depending on how you wanna look at it. So please consider subscribing. Okay, you guys, so there are other methods of determining personality type besides MBTI and Kiersey, such as socionics or just looking exclusively at the cognitive functions, etc. Today, we're only going to look at MBTI versus Kiersey. So there are some similarities, there are some differences, and a more accurate title for this video would be MBTI versus Kiersey, which one is right for you? Because here's the thing, you guys, no matter what anyone will ever say, no matter what anyone would ever tell you, and that includes me, in the final analysis, it is up to you to determine your personality type. So you should only use videos, personality tests, temperament sorters, all these different methods of determining type. You should only use those as a guide for you to make an informed decision. No one can define you. No one can tell you who you are. It's up to you. With all that said, I'm going to make this a super quick video for you guys. I'm just going to highlight a very general look at the differences between MBTI and Kiersey. My goal in this video is to help you determine which one of these assessments or sorters or tests, whatever you want to call them, which one of these is right for you. And at the end, you may decide neither of them are right for you or both of them. And then at the end of the video, I will give you which ones I prefer and why. Okay, so the MBTI does all 16 personality types, and the dichotomies are E versus I, that's extrovert or introvert, N versus S, that's intuitive or sensor, T versus F, that's for thinking or feeling, and J versus P, which is for judging or perceiving. Depending on the test you take, some tests might place more emphasis or less emphasis on cognitive functions, but the primary focus on the 16 personalities, the Myers-Briggs type indicator, is the dichotomies, E-I-N-S-T-F-J-P, those dichotomies. MBTI is excellent at showing differences between personalities. It's fun. And that's, by the way, guys, if I could say something else, you know, the second most important thing or arguably the most important thing when it comes to personality theory, other than that no one can define you except you, is have fun with it, right? We, it's so easy for us to overcomplicate personality type. Have fun with it. Enjoy the process. I like that MBTI gives unique descriptions for all of the 16 types. I forget who said it, but someone in the personality community once said, most people want the same thing. We want to get along. We want to be happy. We want to be healthy. We want to have good relationships with other people. Most people are communicating the same thing. It's just they have a different way of communicating it. They have different preferences of how they prefer to be communicated to. They have different preferences of how they prefer to communicate. MBTI can help bring people together in spite of those differences. Okay, so that's a very general, broad-based look at MBTI. 16 personalities, primary focus on the four dichotomies. You get a four-letter code after you take the test, and then you get a description of your type. It's simple, it's fun, it's easy. MBTI is awesome. I love MBTI. We could talk a lot more about MBTI, but for the purpose of this video, I'll move on to Kiersey now. So Kiersey and MBTI have a lot of overlapping similarities. When I say Kiersey, I'm referring to the Kiersey Temperament Sorter. I love Kiersey. So the Kiersey Temperament Sorter takes the 16 personalities and it breaks it down into four temperaments. I believe that the Kiersey Temperament Sorter can be very helpful for people who might be on the fence about one or two of the MBTI dichotomies. For example, INFJ versus INFP. Which am I, right? Well, the Kiersey Temperament Sorter would lump both of those personalities into one temperament called the Idealist Temperament. In the Kiersey Temperament Sorter, there are four temperaments, the Rationals, the Idealists, the artisans, and the guardians. So if you're trying to figure your personality type out and you, you're, you're like, am I an INFJ or an INFP? I don't know, right? Or maybe you're like, am I an ENFJ or an ENFP? And you can't decide. Well, there's good news. You got those two middle letters right, the N and the F in the middle. And the NF is the idealist temperament. So you've just eliminated 12 other personality types by saying, okay, well, I know I'm in the ballpark right? We're in the ballpark now. This can be extremely beneficial 
to people who are really on the fence about determining their type. Now at this point, I will reiterate what I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Yes, I understand that there are multiple different ways to determine personality type. There are those that would say, you must look at the cognitive functions. There are those that would say, Kiersey is too general. There are those that would say, it's not enough to know what temperament you're in. You have to know your four letter code because that's gonna tell you what your cognitive functions are. Look, I understand all that. I love the cognitive functions. I love socionics. I love all personality theory. But remember, no one can determine your type except you. People can share their opinions. You can hire a professional typologist, but in the final analysis, it's up to you to determine your type. And if you're on the fence, about determining your type and you want or you need some closure, I feel like Kiersey can be an excellent way for you to achieve that closure, provided that you're okay with not placing too much emphasis on the dichotomies and or on the cognitive functions or some other method of determining type. In that case, the Kiersey temperaments could be a good way for you to narrow down your type because you just read the different temperaments to rule out the other temperaments and thus the other 12 personality types. So there you go, you guys. By no means is this a deep dive at all between MBTI and Kiersey. I just wanted to give you kind of a guide to get you started. They're both awesome as far as which one I like better. Um, I like MBTI because I like understanding and studying the differences in each of the 16 personality types. I love Kiersey because I, I feel like it can really help clarify or narrow down a person's type for them. If they know what temperament they're in, then they can rule out those other three temperaments and it kind of guides them towards knowing their type. So I, I love them both. I just would choose one over the other for different reasons. What is your favorite method of determining personality type? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you in the next video.